Hey Siri, what's the forecast for San Francisco today? It's currently cloudy and 57 degrees in San Francisco, California. Expect mostly clear skies starting in the morning. Today's high will be 66 degrees and the low will be 55. Okay, not that bad. We can deal with that. We got uh, 66 today for Cali. I guess that's kind of cool for them. Something must be going on over there. I'm not sure. San Francisco, good city. Um, reason why I'm looking at San Francisco is I was... Uh, I like to talk about ideas on this channel. So I was reading today about how Nike is doing their Just Do It campaign and they got this ad with Kaepernick and everything else. And I think that's good for them. Um, there's a lot of interesting ideas behind this whole thing. Um, this kneeling debate, which the president interjected himself. So um, just a couple ideas, my thoughts on there. Now, last time I checked, uh, the president didn't serve in the military nor did either of his sons. So the the idea that he is the voice of veterans is just preposterous to me. Um, I don't accept his authority in that position at all because he didn't serve. So how, how can he make some statement that, oh, by kneeling or whatever, these people are uh, disrespecting veterans in the flag? I mean, you just can't say that. I didn't serve in the military either, right? So I, I can't make any comments on that either. So again, that idea is like ridiculous to me. Um, another idea I hear is that the idea that Kaepernick or whomever it is, John Smith, whoever doesn't love the country is kind of dumb to me also. I mean, I kind of look at it this same way. Like now that I'm a parent, <laughs> I can relate to this. So my son may do something that is completely out of line, right? And I discipline him or I say something to him in public about it. Yeah, it's going to make, make it uncomfortable for him and he's not going to like that. But am I, am I doing that because I don't care about him? No, it's exactly the opposite. I'm doing it because I do care about him and I know that he can do better than that. So I'm not going to just let him uh, do something ridiculous and not say anything. You know, it, it's the same way. Like... Maybe you have a family member or a friend who's got a real bad drug problem, like that show intervention. You know, they gather the person together, you know, they, they put them in a very uncomfortable place, right? Just to kind of let them know, hey, look, you know, when you're doing this, this is not good. We love you. That's why we're doing this. And the person is normally, you know, very defensive and everything else. I kind of look at it as the same way. So uh, the idea of Kaepernick and the Just Do It Nike campaign, um, good for that, man. I mean, hey, if you guys want to support that, if we got to support that, then you need to buy some T-shirts, right? So what they're doing is they're essentially making a gamble here. That's how business works, that there's enough people who are supportive of uh, Kaepernick and everything else that they're going to buy some paraphernalia, T-shirts or whatever. Let's not forget. I mean, Nike is not just doing this campaign because it's a good thing to do, right? They're in business to make money. So they're kind of betting that they get behind this thing, they'll be able to sell enough t-shirts and you know, I'm fine with that. But I wanted to just talk about the ideas there. Um, I think that again, if he didn't care, he would have just took his millions and shut up like everybody else, right? Cause he'd be like, hey, hey, what do I care? You know, about police brutality, right? I'm rich. Right. You know, I'm going to just come and do, and you know, throw my balls. That's it. All right. Kick it in the Caribbean or something. So that's just my take on that whole thing. Um, looking forward to today. First Monday back to work. Let's go get it in. Let's go get this money. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.